One of the really cool things that Microsoft's rolled out in the latest version of Excel is the ability to create Lambda functions. So these are custom functions that we can set up without having to do any coding in VBA. And I'm gonna show you how we can create one to convert time from one time zone to another. So to create a, um, a Lambda function, I need to go to the Formulas tab and create a name named range under name manager. So I'm gonna click on new and this, this name is gonna be the name of my function. So I'm gonna call it convert time. And I'm gonna delete this and this is going to be my formula. It always is gonna, it, it always is gonna start with Lambda so that Excel knows this is a Lambda function. And now I'm gonna set up my variables. So my first one is gonna be, I'm gonna enter the time followed by my home time zone and then my destination time zone. So these are the arguments I'm setting up. And next I'm gonna tell Excel how I want them to interact, how I want this formula to work. So I'm gonna say, okay, take that time that I've input and then add, and in parentheses, I want the difference between my destination time zone minus my home time. So I wanna know how many hours I need to add or deduct. And then divide this by a factor 24 because 24 hours in a day, and then I'll ensure the calculation is correct. So once I do this, my, my named range is there. And now I can reference it by just typing in equals convert time. And so now I could enter a time of let's say 12 o'clock, my home time, let's say minus seven. So this is the this is gonna be the, the GMT offset. So let's say uh, minus seven would put me on the west coast of the United States or Canada. So minus seven my destination time zone, let's say I wanna know what the time is in New York City, where it would be you know, minus four, because we know New York is uh, three hours ahead of Los Angeles, so we have minus seven, minus four, so that difference would be three. So we want, so if this is calculating correctly, the value should be 3 p.m. So that's how that function works. And now we can adjust this if we wanted to change it to, let's say, two o'clock. We can do the same thing. Now I didn't specify a.m. p.m., so it's assuming I'm on a 24 hour clock, but if I typed in PM here, now it's gonna adjust accordingly. So what we could do is set up variables. So let's say we've got time, home time zone, destination time zone. And so what we could do is reference it to make it a bit more dynamic. So let's say I'll enter a time of 7 PM. My home time zone is minus seven, let's say minus one for my, my destination. So now I can just reference those values uh, more easily as opposed to hard coding them in there. So let's reference that one there, uh, my home time zone, and then my destination time zone. And now it's a lot easier now to make these adjustments and Excel is just automatically gonna use that Lambda function to, to determine you know, what that difference is. It's just three hours difference. You know, if it's, uh, we could put a positive number, right? So we can see that difference. And so it's a lot easier now to make these adjustments and not having to hard code anything in there. So just by creating that named range, um, that Lambda function, you have that flexibility to you know, set up a function, set up a named custom function that you don't have to create a complex template for. All you have to do is just use this Lambda function. So if you're in another spreadsheet where, okay, you don't have your template, you don't wanna open up another Excel template to do this conversion, well, you, know, you can just copy, you can just save those Lambda functions, you know, set them up as a named range, and then you have access to it. So a really easy way to do this without having to do VBA and having to have a macro enabled file or anything like that. You open someone else's workbook, they don't have that, but hey, you're, if you're running Office 365, you can set up your Lambda function, reference it, reference it in there, and it's a lot easier now for you to do that. And it's not gonna be um, dependent on any macros or anything like that. So really easy to set up in this case. You know, the key thing is you're setting up your arguments first, your, your variables, and then your actual, and then the last one is your actual calculation, is the actual formula. So that's the key thing to remember with, with Lambda functions. You can create a, as few or a, as many variables as you want. And then that last piece is just gonna be how, how they're all tied together and how you want them to be calculating.